Hey, comic fans, you're with the Comic Book Pusher at the Comics Club, Tampa and Brandon's favorite comic and gaming store. I'm here with my good friend, Tim Von Clote of the Marvelous Adventures of TNG. And Tim has brought us a massive, a massive... Two of these. Two, two boxes just like this, CGC slabbed comic books. I have no idea what the grades are. Okay. Tim, All right, so, let's so just how, start from the end here. Okay, so who's up first, you or me? Uh, you. All righty. All right, we got Astonishing X-Men number 11. Oh, what's special about that book? Uh, uh, it is the very variant edition. Okay. It's got Lady Deadpool on the cover. Oh, okay, Lady Deadpool. Well, it's, uh, I remember it now. It looks like Deadpool, uh, Psylocke wearing a Deadpool mask. Okay, so what do we get, Tim? 9.8. Oh. All right, what's up next, Tim? So next up we have Number two. Uh, the Batman 36. It is the Lego variants that they oh, were doing a while ago. I back. love those Lego variants. So any kind of gimmicky thing like that, I just love it. This one had the Joker on the cover. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yep. And what do you think it came out as? Hope for 9-8, of course. Was it? This is a 9-8. All right. So next up, we have Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider number one. Cool. We got All right. We got the uh, Amazing Spider-Man 606, the, the cover with Spider-Man and Black Cat kissing. Oh, that's a great one. It, yeah. 9-8. Beautiful. You know, I didn't realize how until I got some of my own how beautiful these books look inside these cases. That's the important thing. So what's up next, Tim? All right, next up it looks like we have Ultimate Spider-Man Special Number One. Ultimate Spider-Man Special, special Number One. Hmm. Super. It says Super Special on the cover. Super Special. Okay. All right. What do we get there? Nine point eight. Sometimes you forget about how old these are. That's eighteen years old. That's eighteen years old. A lot of these just were. were finds from the back room recently. <laughs> Love to go hunting in my own back room. All right, next up we have Dark Avengers number one. 9.8. Ooh, yeah. awesome. Awesome. First appearance of the Dark Avengers. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Cool. That's a good one. After the show, if you're local, you want to contact me about these and what the prices are. If you're not local, I'm going to be putting them up on our website as well. But, okay, we have... The Superior Spider-Man, number 24. Well, the Superior Spider-Man is when Doc Ock took over his body. Yeah. And, this uh, is a cool Venom cover. It's got Venom and Spidey fighting on the cover. What do we get? 9.8. Beautiful. 9.8. Beautiful. Oh, it's I the like variant that. edition. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. All right. This one I'm, I'm, I'm excited for. I, you know, I wasn't a fan of Moon Knight until really recently. I, I've always loved Moon Knight, but they don't seem to ever do anything with him that's really awesome. So we got Moon Knight number one here oh, cool. from uh, 2016. Is that is that the one where it's like mostly white color? He's in a he's in a padded room. And, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. Cause he's a little crazy. <laughs> All right, so uh, this one came out. Yeah, uh, All right. There's lots of treasures here, guy. Come and shop at the Comics Club. There's tons of treasures to be had. 2010, we've got Wolverine number two. Wolverine number two. Yeah, I love Jay Lee's art. Hauntingly beautiful, I think. So what, what do we get on this one? 9.8. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. This is, okay, now we've got one that uh, I have looked forward to add in my collection in the past as well. Is this one yours? No. Okay. This is uh, Star Wars Django Fett. I remember, this one's real thick. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a real thick combo. When I, when I got that in the collection, couple of years ago that the copy I remember standing out looked just flawless so I decided I, this one I have to get slapped though, but it was just so beautiful what would I get on? no you weren't wrong what I get on? 9 8 9 8 yeah. yeah it's an awesome copy all right so I've got one here from my own personal collection this is this was a this was a grail for me to find um, I had picked it up not that long ago and once again your stuff is for other people my yeah. stuff is for my collection so I take what I have at the time, and then I CGC it just for my own personal right. collection. Right. So I have Transformers number one from 1984, Ooh. and uh, came out at a 9 -0. Not bad. Okay, but that's a nice book. Yeah. Still, it's a near mint. Yep. First, first appearance of the Autobots and Decepticons. This that's is great. this is one I always wanted since I was a kid, and this the the price point on this like, you know, it's not it's not a expensive comic, but it was more than. 
twelve year old boy was willing to pay at the time. You know what I'm right. saying? So, yeah. It's so funny, Tim. When I was twelve years old, I would get a, an allowance of, of a dollar, and with my dollar allowance, I could walk down to the store, which is about yeah, about a mile away, and for my dollar, I could get I would buy three comic books. They were twelve cents a piece then. I buy chocolate milk, a little pie, and then I go around the around the corner to a, another store. It's a Hungarian Hungarian grocery store by this old couple and they had a display case of candies that they made themselves and it was penny candies but you could get seven for a penny candies uh -huh. so i would take the rest of the money and just fill up little <laughs> bags of candy with it and i would go have myself a feast and read my comic books so comic books candy pie and chocolate milk that was sounds always, amazing was always my that's what i would want when i was 12. Books. so yeah so for for one buck <laughs> for one buck i could get all of that that's incredible <laughs> that's amazing Death Strike ash can. Oh, oh yeah, I love these ash cans. In fact, I've been starting to collect them recently. This is limited to a thousand. Only a thousand copies. Only a thousand copies. It is. It says debut ash can. Nine point eight. Nine point eight. Beautiful. Tim and I are probably risking life and limb uh, without our mask here to. Uh... <laughs> that, that was the question. Do we film this with our masks on? Or, or, or not? We thought we were going to be in such close proximity to each other anyway. You know, masks. I have a cool Captain America one actually. We're social distancing enough. Actually, actually, I have one that Dolly made. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's a cool one. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. All right. Um, Let me understand. Let us stick with Lady Death Ashton. Oh, okay. We got we got more. You got one more. Okay. You had one. I think that was even even more rare. This one was a dynamic portrait. Okay, cool. Here. Yeah, they don't encapsulate them with that stuff. You see, just the comics. Yeah. Uh, this one was. Oh, that, the last one was the rare one. This one was limited to 5,000 copies. Um, once again, debut as can, different cover. Yeah, the, the Philly Comic Con cover. Once again, beautiful condition. So, okay, so what's up next, Tim? All right, looks like we have G.I. Joe Origins number one. Okay. With the Retailer Incentive Edition. This came out in 2009. 2009. Larry Hama story, which is exciting for because he he started the whole GI Joe you know series. Let's go back to Spawn kills everybody. Number one. Spawn kills. I, I I can see the cover of that in my head right now. Uh, this is the he H E E variant cover. Okay. The little tiny spawn. Yeah. So this is just the first part of what's going to be a multiple part video series on this unboxing because there's just so many of them and we'll be back very soon with the next episode. And remember, read, it brings out the hero in you.